in person based on their personal views. For instance, you talk a lot about atheism and you're very critical of people, of religious people. Couldn't religious people also say, oh, well, these anarchists, these libertarians, they're just a bunch of heathen, you know, atheists. I, I'm not going to have anything to do with that. Right. So how is that different from Ron Paul being, you know, not disbelieving in evolution or being a Christian? Or, right. Uh, I'll just repeat that. Uh, so the, the question is that I say that people may be turned off libertarianism because of Ron Paul's religiosity, but I, as an outspoken atheist, may also be driving people away from the movement because of my criticisms of religiosity. Well, um, I, that certainly is a valid criticism, and I, I accept it, but I think that the difference is that uh, evolution is, is, is true, right? And so, uh, if you're going to be alienated, then you should be alienated for correct positions rather than incorrect positions. And uh, so, I, I think that we can't, like, Philosophy is not a popularity contest. In fact, if you're a popular philosopher, you're, you're not doing it right. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. If you're a popular philosopher, then you're Paul Krugman sucking at the state titty of power or something like that, right? So, so you don't want to be popular as a philosopher. If you're not accused of corrupting the youth, you're just not fulfilling the pledge of office, right? So, so I think that you don't want to modify your positions according to who it may uh, keep or drive away from a particular thing that you want to do, but you always want to follow reason and evidence as much as possible. I think that Ron Paul has not much excuse to reject evolution given his training, but again, I think it's a challenge that he faces in the political process, so I think it's okay to alienate people as long as you're right, if that, if that helps at all. All right, another question. We've got lineups Can here. Can I barge in and interrupt? Yes, please. <laughs> um, lots of people who've been on my list for many years say, do you believe in God and what's your religion? And I'm glad they don't know. And occasionally I talk about it in private, but the reason I do it that way is because to me, what people say is their religion doesn't matter to me in the slightest because I know lots of people who wear the label of, of Christian or Jew or Muslim and they advocate violence against me. In which case, okay, you say you believe in a guy who said, you know, do unto others as you would have done unto you, and then you advocate that I be robbed. Uh, to me, religious belief, what most people say, doesn't matter. If they will leave me alone, and I will leave them alone, that's the only belief I care about. And I think, I think it's tempting, it's tempting but irrational for people out there to say, well, you don't believe in a God, so I'm not going to listen to what you have to say. Um, but I think, for me, the best way to get around that is, you know, when we're talking about, let's do away with a giant mythical beast called government, None of the rest of the stuff matters. If you believe a giant pink armadillo made the universe, if you believe the Christian God, if you whatever you believe in, I don't care if you'll leave me alone. Um, sort of along the lines of what Ernie was saying, doesn't make any difference to me. It's sort of like saying, do you like vanilla or chocolate? Who cares? Um, the, the religion uh, is not something that people arrive at through um, through empirical evidence or through reason. Uh, in religion is something that is taught to children, it's true. I mean, that's, and I, I don't consider that, I, it's not valid for me to teach my daughter that anarchism is true, or that libertarianism is true, or that the free market is the best system, or the non-aggression principle is valid, because those are all conclusions. My goal, of course, is to teach her how to think, and maybe she'll find a way to prove the existence of a deity to me, in which case I will worship both her and the deity. But um, I, I don't have the right to teach conclusions to my daughter. I think that is harmful to her intellectual development. And my concern, of course, is, is that with religion, people don't just pop out as adults, as religious, right? That they're instructed on these things that are true. And very often, though not always the case, they're instructed that there are negative consequences in the extreme, like an eternity of hellfire, if they don't do X, Y, and Z. That seems to me entirely too threatening an approach to teaching the child about something, and I think that we need to let our children just reason the way, teach them how to think, not what to think, and I think if that approach is taken, I'm not sure how long religion would last, and that's my concern about it. It's not the adults who can believe whatever they want, it's the children who are not free to develop their own beliefs because they are, uh, a, a very heavy weight is laid upon them uh, at a very early age about things for which there are no evidence. I, I like what Larkin had said that it doesn't, it shouldn't matter. What I would point out is not necessarily alienate somebody because if we would alienate people who are religious, do we discount someone like Isaac Newton, who was a very religious man and created an entire system of mathematics or calculus? So I suggest we remain skeptical and we investigate and we look for evidence, but to discount or alienate people strictly on what we believe is, you know, that they were religious or what we believe, but, you know, some of their thoughts that were maybe they were delusional, we, we lose a whole lot of 
of art. We lose a lot of mathematics. We lose, in fact, the computer screens that we look at. With somebody, you know, by a religious boy from Idaho who did, you know, Philo Farnsworth. So we, we don't completely discount or alienate people just because they may have a religious background. I think if someone is trying to force the religion on you, that's a different story, regardless of what it is. But it shouldn't matter so much. We're all here for freedom. We love life. We love liberty, and that's what it should be. So if we're going to alienate anybody, it should be somebody who doesn't love life and is trying to aggress against us.